Screens are used with most devices. They have changed over the past 10 years to become more clear and detailed. Another version of the screen was the CTR that had good quality when it was released. However, compared to today's standards, it is poor. They were heavy and quite bulky. This was due to the technology that was available. LED TVs are a popular type at the moment because they give precise detail and colour. However, they can be expensive. Curved TVs allow there to be no glare on either side of the TV. Also on conventional TVs, they will call it a good down looking at the TV from the side. Whereas with a curved TV, the quality stays no matter where you are sitting. Gaming has benefited from the advantages in screens. The refresh rate of monitors has become higher, meaning that the game is crisper and clearer. The Mighty Keyboard was invented for the typewriter. The most used keys were placed apart, preventing them from sticking. This design is still used today because it is still an easier way to type with. The first phone to use QWERTY keyboard was the Nokia 91101 Nokia. It was both PDA and phone. It was like an early version of the smartphone. With gaming becoming highly popular on PCs over the last 10 years, specialised keyboards were made for one game. These are called Concept. Concept keyboards are used with the game that requires lots of keys to be used, making it easier for the player. However, they can be only suited to with one game. That means they are very expensive, so not all players can afford them. Joysticks are attached to the base that can be turned in any direction. When the user moves it in a direction, the object being controlled will move in that direction. One type of joystick is a concept. These are designed for one type of game. This is mainly flight simulators. They can be very complex with multiple joysticks and buttons allowing the user to feel like they are flying a real plane. However, they can be very expensive and sometimes very rare because they are only for one game. Controller pads have been an essential part of gaming. They allow gamers to have more functions and controls. Controllers have changed massively over the years becoming more ergonomic so they are the more comfortable for The controller on the Nintendo 64 sessions. was a strange design compared to designs for controllers now. It had a joystick in the middle of the controller. This wasn't a good position for it because it made it uncomfortable for the user to use it. The PlayStation 1 started the design for the controllers that most gamers would recognise now. However, the first design didn't have any analogue sticks. However, the, these came later. The Xbox, One the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 controllers are similar except for the PlayStation 1 controllers analogue sticks opposite from one another and the PlayStations are next to each other. Touch screen. This is where you touch the screen and give a response on screen. The touch screen is a flat material made out of polymethane and glass below with a space in between it has an electric current running between the layers. Once the screen is touched and the flexible layer touches the glass causing the currents to meet and tells the device the coordinates. There are different types of touch screens on lots of different devices ranging from mobiles to remote controls. Most of the time the early versions of touch screen meant the user had to calibrate the screen. Most of the time the touch screens are highly useful and make a device portable. Steering wheels. Steering wheels in gaming is meant to give realism when playing racing games so the player can be more immersed within the game. They have been around in arcade games since 1974 for Grand Trek 10, but have only been used in home consoles since the 90s with the PlayStation 1 and the Nintendo 64. Arcade versions have become a lot more realistic because they have racing seats and gear sticks and full size bikes that rely on the user leaning on the bike to move it just like in real life. Full size simulators with real cars and multiple screen get very close to driving real life. However, these can be expensive and very large. Pointing devices. A movable device that controls a cursor on screen. screen. Most of the example of this, they have changed over the years to meet the demands of PC gaming, making them more ergonomic just like a controller pad. Graphics tablets have also come under this category. Graphics tablets allow designers and drawing on computer easy because it emulates pencil and paper. Early gaming and arcade use this te technology for light guns. These are normally guns that users would aim and shoot on screen. Is used in arcade now in such games as Terminator Salvation. However, these are not always responsive. There are two types of motion detectors with gaming. One with the user having a, to use a controller, such as the Wii, 
and another where the user is the controller, such as the Kinect. Motion detectors work by accelerometers that detect speed and orientation. The Wii is the most used for using this within a gaming console. It uses infrared to send the information back to the console. The Kinect uses motion detectors to track the player movement and uses it to control the characters on screen. It was the first of its kind and it was very hyped when it first came out, but has dropped in popularity over the last few years. Headsets allow gamers to communicate with other gamers. They are available on console and PCs. Most headsets have some, lo some level of surround sound, and gamers can hear all the detail of the game with excellent quality. All headphones have microphones so that gamers can communicate with others. Most microphones are good quality and this is important because the receivers need to be clear what the other person is saying. A decent... No. There. Also, virtual reality headsets are becoming more popular. In this is in this include... Virtual reality headsets are becoming popular. Examples are Morpheus and the Oculus Rift.